Hey, 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 monkeys! How you doing? Jamie and Keys here. A like for a like, a sub for a sub, a follow for a follow. Is this something that you should be doing? And more importantly, does this tactic work? Well, let me tell you something. This tactic does work. If you like someone and ask them to like you back, they will. If you go on YouTube and you subscribe to them and you send them a message just saying, loving your stuff, check out my stuff, I've subscribed to you, I'd love you to subscribe back, they will probably, most of them will subscribe back. Is this something that you should do? It drives me fucking mental. I hate it because it just feels so wrong and it is never something I would do. But people, people are doing it all the time. My Instagram is full of people adding me and then taking themselves away. It, it's frustrating because it's like a quick win. It's like a cheat. It's like, it's like those people that, that buy the computer game and then go and find the hack and try and, and try and cheat the way to the end. And I'm like, it doesn't make any sense because you're looking at the wrong metrics. Because yes, you might be able to get to a thousand people on your YouTube. Yes, you might be able to get to, to 15, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people on your Twitter, but you're following 20, 30, 40,000 people on your Twitter, and you're following a thousand people because of it on your YouTube, and the people that you're following, you don't really wanna see. So your social media becomes effectively just that numbers game, just that rhetoric where you're just looking at the wrong egocentric metric. Oh, I've got lots of friends, or yeah, I've got lots of people that like my stuff. But there's a problem, there's an inherent big problem, which is if you have 10,000 people that you follow on Twitter, then you are never gonna go on Twitter to actually see anyone's stuff. Anyone you really like, anyone you respect, unless you have that little bell, so you kind of even cheat the system even further. Other than that, you go on YouTube and you say, a thousand people subscribe to my channel. Amazing, great. How many of those are gonna watch your videos? Not many, because they're not gonna give a shit. So I understand that getting in front of eyeballs is important. I understand that distribution is as important as making the content in the first place. But this like for a like, sub for a sub, share for a share, follow for a follow, oh, it just leaves me feeling sick and it feels like you're trying to cheat the system and it feels you're, like you're just not being patient enough and not playing the right game. Uh, and will it work? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately it will work. You will get more people that will subscribe to you. You will get more people who follow you if you follow them back. Is it the right thing to do? Long term, I don't think it is. I really don't. I think short term, it's exciting because you can say, I've got loads and loads of people who like my stuff or follow my stuff. But when you actually look at people who are there for you, People that when you say, right, this is who I am, this is what I stand for, who is with me, who's gonna buy my album, who's gonna be in my business, who is gonna, who is gonna come to my gig, these people are gonna say, mm, not really, no, I just wanted your like, and I got one back, and I just wanted to subscribe, so I've got an extra number. These people aren't really there for you, so in the long-term game, is it the right thing to do? No, it's not, it's cheating the system but I'm seeing it all of the time and the question crops up and I just want you to know that a like for a like just isn't the right way of doing it. It's trying to cheat the system and if you're trying to cheat the system, you're not doing it right. You're not playing the game right. Get good at the game and enjoy the process and stop panicking about what other people are gonna think because you haven't got as many numbers as you think you should have. It's just a lesson that we all have to, to learn because I still look at my numbers and think, fuck, I work so hard. Why aren't they growing fast enough? Well, maybe I'm not doing it quite right. Maybe I'm not pushing it in the right places. Maybe I'm not putting the right amount of times into the right, the right parts of promoting my social media. And if not, who's to blame? Me. And who's got to do something about it? Me. I have to learn. I have to keep experimenting and not try and cheat, but try and make better content. Try and make better distribution lines. Try and find better collabs. Be patient until my numbers get to a certain point that I can do bigger collabs, get better interviews, etc., etc. Stop trying to cheat the system. Honestly, long term, it is not gonna help you sell a record and it is not gonna help you sell out your gig. Like for like, nooey. Cool, see you guys tomorrow.